Now I'm going to put some activated carbon in the filter. And you just get it out, put it in the bag that it comes with, and then leave that in there for a couple of months. That'll help keep the water nice and clear. It is important to take it out after a couple of months. Otherwise, with time, it can start to release what it's collected. This is a great way of clearing your water. But um, for this situation, I definitely want to add carbon. But I really like to run it with polyfilter. If I had a preference, it would be polyfilter. But for discoloration, it would be carbon in this case. I would love to see some polyfilter added to this tank as soon as possible for removal of accumulants as I'm seeing issues with that with the fish. It will really help their immune system by adding polyfilter. So the results with the aquarium today is unreal, but it's only one step in the right direction. Now that I've added KH and GH to the water, we do need to be checking on the KH over time. But now this filter absolutely needs an overhaul. Now I've been instructed to do this job over several visits. So um, next time I come, I'm going to suggest that I give this basically a spring clean. That basically means pull all this out and all this crap is going to be intense. Clean up the heaters, clean it all up. Um, but I think that's for another day. But progress today is excellent. Another product that I'm a big fan of is sludge destroyer. Now sludge destroyer is bacteria that gets in underneath your rocks and through your filter and helps to remove a lot of the sludge. Now, particularly as this filter has not been cleaned on this service. Oh, Mr. Guy here only has one eye. His eye is fully gone and healed over like a one-eyed catfish. There you go. Um, I would highly recommend um, using this product in this tank. Considering I'm suggesting this aquarium is going to be at maximum capacity, I would consider putting some more marine pure balls in the filter because the more balls you have, the more biological capacity you can have and that can absolutely help. And it's very important this media is never washed in tap water, only water from the fish tank. And if you're ever going to buy media, this is the one you want because this is the one that's done all the research for the um, ratio of surface area for parallel denitrification. So I'm very happy with this as a first service. Um, this progress is very good. I was very mindful of time not to take too long. Um, the tank definitely needs more cleaning. Um, the lids need more cleaning. The filter needs more cleaning. Um, I would recommend that I return sooner than later and give it another follow-up service as this was really just part one you really can't just give an aquarium necessarily one big overhaul and expect it to be instantly back to its former glory so a repeat service or two would be highly advised then i would really look at trying to service this aquarium once a month removing about a third of the water um, through the gravel cleaner and also just be aware of how the sump works so when you turn the pump off the water in the top will flow down to the bottom so it's really important that you don't fill the sump up too much when the pump is on otherwise if you turn the pump off the water from the top can siphon back down into the bottom and potentially overflow so if you keep your water running below that baffle you'll be pretty much okay. But this is very nearly an amazing aquarium, but more water flow, better food, more regular maintenance, maybe some new fish. A bit of a placostomous scuffle going on here. And this is very nearly an awesome tank, and it certainly has been good in its heyday but the track record of most aquariums, including this one, is clean them all up, make them look awesome. Then over time, um, they do need a bit of love again.